Coming to you live and uncensored. This is the Hype Podcast. I'm oh so fresh with my co-host, yet to be named. That's me. We talk about everything from new gadgets, gizmos, politics, movies, and music. And our very own personal stories, because you know a motherfucker has to keep it real. Eh. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. That's not clapping. <laughs> that's not the clapping of your hands. Yeah, you, you know, know, it's 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 one of those things where uh, you know. Having a uh, a new vehicle in the family, right? <laughs> it's like having another dog. I know it is. It is. My like, shit gets out, starts roaming the streets. No, nah, but you, we were talking about uh, getting pulled over a minute ago, and I'm I'm kind of tripping off the fact that you know when they pull you over, why do they ask for your shit? What do you mean, why? Because you were just saying, you know, you got two laptops and whatever. Oh yeah, dude, you could pull up my credit history. <laughs> you can probably pull up the last broad I fucked. You know what I'm saying? A picture of her. And, 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 and then walk back to the car and be like, bad move. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute, that's my girlfriend. Uh, wait a minute, that's my girlfriend, yeah. You know, you don't want to be in one of those situations. No, no, God, no, 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 no. I just can't understand it. I'm just like, why do you need to see all this shit, sir? You you already know what I look like. Well, you, no. you, you ran my license plate. Here's here's the other thing, too, is when they when they pull up those DMV records while you're still mobile, but while they're deciding whether to pull you over or not, they pull up all that info. They can tell if you're like, there's a little section on there that says insured motorist. Like they know yeah. if that car is insured, they fucking know. I will, I will tell you from my past tribulations, I have an SR-22. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I Immediately. Have you, you ask me for a little piece of paper that I can never fucking find in the glove box anyway. When you already know. And then you're going to shoot me if I, if I reach too long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, no. I just wanted to put some. I just, I got, I keep my Versace cologne in my glove box, and I Dude. want you, I want you to think that's the gold tip of my, you know, my um, uh, Desert Eagle. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no, actually, I made it a habit when I when I get pulled over. I used to get pulled over a lot, and when I get pulled over, before the cop would even get to the window, I would pull all the shit out of my glove box and have like stacks of paper on my fucking lap. That see, way, there was no leaning, no reaching, see, no I, hands disappearing into dark crevices see, in the car. See, I'm, I'm, I'm black, man. I don't, I don't want them to think I'm reaching from the moment they pull me over. <laughs> I don't want them to think I'm no, throwing no. The, the, the dope out the car <laughs> or anything like that. No, uh, no. I'm sitting there with my hands at like 10 and fucking 2. And the only reason I'm taking my hand off the, the fucking steering wheel is so I can sw- <laughs> shift gears. Right. Dude, no, did you see the fucking, uh, I think it was like a comedy special, I forget who it was, but this guy, he was like an Uber driver, and this comedian's talking about this video he watched, so I looked up the video, this Uber driver. This is like fourth hand hearsay. Right, yeah. This is not admissible well, no. in court, I'm just <laughs> telling you that. <laughs> no, so this dude, this little Uber driver, he's got a passenger in the back seat, and the passenger's filming it. Mm. And they start talking about like, you know, guns and things like that. And this fucking Uber driver pulls out and he's like, oh, I carry the fucking gun the whole time. And the guy's like, dude, whoa, whoa, what what the fuck? And so they're like talking about it. And the driver's like, yeah, you can see it. You could, you know, just wave it around. And he's like, what happens if you get pulled over? He's like, oh, I just dropped the clip. Uh, re-rack, unrack the chamber. Make sure there's no bullets in it. Throw it on the dash. They can't do shit. And, I'm, and the dude looks at him and goes. That's not really the first motion you want a cop to see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I'm telling like, you, holy I mean, shit. I'm telling you, it's just like, just like reaching for your guns and dope. Yeah, no, and it's a legitimate video. Like, you can find it on YouTube. And it's fucking hilarious because the guy's just like, yeah, I carry it for protection. Like, like it's no big deal. Me, personally, I, am, I have access to firearms, and I treat them like they are fucking toddlers. Like, you know, you have to be... A little bit weary, a little bit scared, especially if they're not yours. Well, you're not in an open carry state, are you? This, no, well, Wa- Washington is an open carry state, but, but that, that's uh, open license to fuck with you also. I live I live way too close to Portland for yeah. anybody to fucking open carry <laughs> yeah. around here. Well, There'd no. be some fucking vegan, <laughs> fucking <laughs> flipping, vegan hipster in uh, combat boots. Uh, fucking losing their shit. He, he's got a gun. He's got a gun. <laughs> And speaking of losing your shit, we're about to let you lose your mind this weekend. This is the Hype Podcast. I am the host with no name. I am DJ Oh So Fresh. Oh So Fresh Bear. Yeah. Uh, Diesel Fresh. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you, were, you were slacking on the bomb, yeah. so I had you, you don't know about that. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't know about Funk Flex. Nobody's yeah, ever no, heard of funk, that guy. Funk Flex, strong bomb on him. Oh, 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 hold on. Oh, God. Sh- shout out to Alex Trebek. He's recovering from brain surgery. <laughs> shut the fuck up. No way. Oh, you're on Jeopardy and you have brain surgery. No, when did... Like, that's that's a real thing? Yeah. He just had fucking brain surgery? Have you ever seen me come on the show and just make some shit up? No, that's <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, that's, oh, that's you. That's true. That is. <laughs> like, no, no, wait, no. <laughs> does he remember who he is? Like, does... You know, is he going, like, amnesia? No. I'm back no, onto the no, show? No, no, He has to go on a hiatus. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's just... it's. For such a smart show, for him to have brain surgery, like where they no, work, that's, that's where they work, where they working him too hard. <laughs> no. I mean, that's like, I mean, that's 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 like somebody getting a, like a, a a a groin injury, you know, like a thigh, you know, like pulling a thigh muscle playing basketball, <laughs> right? <laughs> Isn't the same thing, dude? How many answer, you know, like how many questions or and or answers do you think that guy knows or knew? Because you know, if he has like. Amnesia a little bit, you know. I don't know. A little bit groggy. That shit is fake. Nobody gets fucking amnesia like that. (laughs) (laughs) Like I just wanted to, you know. I I mean, fuck it, Larry. If this is a fucking spoiler, (laughs) that shit doesn't really happen. Like nobody gets because they're just about to make another. uh, uh, They're about to do a remake of of of, uh, was it Overboard? Okay. With that 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 the movie with uh, uh, Goldie Hawn, where she uh, her what was it? Her and Kurt Russell. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're about to do a remake of that. You don't get amnesia like that, <laughs> dude. <laughs> somebody, dude, some people get too drunk and get amnesia like if somebody that. Somebody hits you in the back of the head hard enough that you're gonna forget everything. You're probably dead. You're dead. You're probably dead. Y- yeah. You're dead. And no, you're not gonna get knocked in the back of the head again. And then boom, remember everything. All of a sudden just remember shit. Like you remember know, how to use fucking kitchen utensils. That's the whole thing. Like basic fucking motor skills. Well, dude, I don't know. I got when I got rear ended by a drunk driver back in two thousand three, I got hit at like sixty five miles an hour and I was stationary. Yeah. So it took me like a almost a whole year to be able to rem- remember a like three or four minute time period. But like, you, were, you remembered your fucking family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't show up and your mom was like I'm like, hey, who is this? Hey, <laughs> Hey, host with no name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, right. if they called me that back in 2003, that would have been some sort of weird premonition, you know? That would have been some weird like, shit. Like some Simpson shit where they just fucking, you I mean, know. Your mom totally walks in, hey, host with no name. Who is this woman? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> I'm like, wait, does she even know because me? if you're going to forget your family, you're going to forget when, how, and where to take a shit. Did you think? And you're going to forget how to eat and how to use a fork. Dude, I could, I could definitely forget how to eat sometimes. I definitely could. Like this, right. th- this whole section here, I should just put fucking knives and forks like in a lockbox and I mean, throw them in the fucking ocean. I, I, sometimes I, I can go overboard with the knives and forks, dude. I saw that shit yesterday. I'm at this little burrito place, and that, and t- to me, there's two things you don't ever eat with a knife and a fork. What are those? Burritos and pizza. Okay, they, that's it. Depends on the pizza. What do you mean depends on the pizza? Dude, I've had some Bellagio's. I, I mean, don't give a shit. I mean, man, you get that, when you use get, your when little you, fucking when mitts. You, you, get that, you get that ultra deluxe pizza that weighs <laughs> like one. You, you, you've all eaten at this pizza place where one piece of pizza weighs more than a whole Pizza Hut small pizza. <laughs> We have to bicep curl it just to get it to your mouth. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I fucking forked those. No, no, this lady. So I'm at this I little mean, you burrito. You got a fucking meatball on top of your fucking pizza and you can't fork it? A whole meatball. No, you can fork the meatball. That's fine. I don't give a shit. Limited forking area. Yeah, yeah. They got restrictive forking. So what no, was happening? No, so we're at this burrito place and I'm sitting there and this fucking lady, she's got, and it's not one of those Mex- full blown Mexican restaurant style burritos with sour cream and fucking sauce and everything. I understand that. I'm okay. talking a regular. Like, get the double XL burrito from Taco Bell. Imagine you just fucking roll that out on a plate, start using a knife and a fork. Get your fucking life together. It's a burrito. Oh, well, I mean, did she ask for cloth napkins to go <laughs> <laughs> with her upscale meal? Because yeah. I mean, because I couldn't imagine. I mean, because there, there, there's certain burritos that I can't fuck with like that. I go to a nice rest, a uh, nice Mexican restaurant. You know, they got the the beans, the rice, the sauce, and all around the fucking burrito. And no, you're not picking that fucker up. No, because, no I mean, but yeah. that, but that's that's not your standard burrito, right? I get but, what you're saying. But, but if I get a bean burrito from Taco Bell, 
Yeah, I, I don't got to go for your XL. Okay, yeah. that seems a lot. <laughs> I, I know you like big shit in your mouth, but no, I, I just get the bean burrito, big tortilla, and, meaty and, things. And yes. I, you know what? And just so you can know me a little bit better, I'll tell you how to how how I get it. I get a green burrito, a green burrito. Uh huh. I get my bean burrito green with extra cheese. But go ahead, dude. That sounds delicious. I, like I, bean burritos with extra cheese, oh, fucking money. Hey, yeah, that's and they make you pay for it. Yeah, they I mean, do. I think the cheese costs as much as the goddamn burrito. Yeah. <laughs> no, but so this lady, I had to still, make that cow squirt one more time. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> for, but first of all, if you're eating just a fucking regular dry burrito, you don't need to dice that shit up. No, you don't. You just fucking eat it, unless you got like herpy hands or something, and you don't want to fucking put them up against your mouth. Well. I think it's all through your body. So if you got herpy hands, I think <laughs> it's just everywhere. I think, I think your mouth. I think your mouth's protected. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, like the egg rolls we're eating. Like if you, you don't fucking cut them up and no, eat them with a fork and knife. No, no we, uh, yeah, I made egg rolls this morning. Uh, yeah, shout out to Shaq with the fryer, dude. It does. That it, was a nice addition to your abode. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. You could just like. I mean, we were going to fry everything this morning: French fries, egg rolls, bacon, fucking everything. We were going to fry bacon. Why, wanted, why didn't we? That's what I want to know. Because, you know, I, I didn't really feel like fucking the house up. What do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, if you go back to episode one <laughs> of this mighty <laughs> podcast that has gone on for way <laughs> too fucking long, I told you about frying shit. Yeah. And yes, it smells like fucking grease up in this motherfucker just because I wanted six egg rolls. <laughs> <laughs> That's a high cost to pay, and I was living in a smaller place where I didn't have a room where I could escape. <laughs> That's true. No, but dude, you got a fan that you have in the window. Sometimes you yeah. could have just cranked that bad boy on, sucked no, all the no, grease smell I, out the window. I, I, I had to, I had to go rent some errands and do some shopping this week. Yeah, and I left my jacket in here when something <laughs> got fried. Yeah, <laughs> and the whole day I'm running around and I smell like fucking deep fryer grease. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I will tell you. You know, I originally went out. I originally went out this morning just to get. I needed a cutter for like some vinyl or something. Yeah, because my cutter died. Thanks, roommate, for the heads up when I was about to do some shit yeah, and, you, and you, you break shit and don't tell nobody. Thanks, roommate. <laughs> anyway, so I go. I go to get this cutter and then I happen to wander into Best Buy because I was like, I, I, I'm in love with Alexa. Okay. Hey, Alexa, I love you. Sorry. I'm not sure. <laughs> she don't know how she feel about your black ass. That's a real woman for you. That's a real woman. <laughs> You're not sure? Okay. You'll be sure when I unplug your ass. <laughs> so I walk in there. I casually, t- I, you know, I, I go in there because I wanted to get a, one of the, the little dots for like the, the, the bedroom. I was like, because you, you name it a different name and then you can. Wait, I, the dots? Yeah, it's, a, it's like a little itty bitty one. Oh, okay. Because I was okay. like, that'd be a bomb alarm clock. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but the hustle's on me. Oh, no. Christmas is over. We doubled the price, bitch. Shut the fuck, fuck you. up. No, they were $30. Now they're 60 But I happened Damn. to be wandering around Best Buy. I saw my roommate there. He looked like he wasn't doing shit. But um, <laughs> I'm walking out, and I just happened to start looking at phones. And I, I, I was hesitant about getting a phone because I called AT&T, and these motherfuckers were like, dude, we need 350 down. What I'm the like, fuck? What is, it, what is it, like a new car? What's really? going on here? Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> like, then, we need a credit check, and, background and, check. You know, all, all, all that shit. All that shit. And I and then I, and this one nice gentleman walks by, he goes, do you need some help? I say, yeah. I might want to get a phone. He said, yeah. Well, let's go over here and see if we can get you a wait, phone. Wait, was this nice gentleman the roommate? No. Nah, that motherfucker can't get me a phone. <laughs> uh, oh, he sells, he sells like high end TVs. Oh, he sells, Jesus. He sells TVs that cost so goddamn much. I ain't never buying one of those. <laughs> the fuck? He might as well work at a fucking art gallery. <laughs> the fuck? I'm not buying anything from your fucking department. <laughs> he still never came back with my TCP IP settings. No, God. <laughs> anyway. So this, you know, he's like, "Yeah, we can get you going right here. What's your phone number?" Blah blah blah. Yeah, and you know, and you know, not to give away the the thing, but you know, usually when I go into like a retail store, sure, I purposely like leave my wallet or my credit card in the car. Yeah, so oh, I, dude. yeah, so, so I don't do anything stupid. Because <laughs> <laughs> I like to buy shit. Yeah, who Lots doesn't like to buy shit. shit? So I'm in there, and he's like, I was like. I said, so they said that I was going to have to pay a down payment. He said, no, nah, we'll get you out of here today. You're just going to have to pay for your Apple Care and get your fucking cover. And I was like, for real? Because I, yeah. I, 
I don't want to have to run out to my car. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me run out don't to this car. Don't make me run out to my car. <laughs> so yeah, now I have the I have the iPhone X. Really? iPhone 10, whatever. For nothing. Like. For nothing. No, no down. Oh, oh, lots of something. Yeah. Lots of lots something. Lots of something. No, I mean, Dude. you know, no down payment, yeah, but for, just the uh, Apple Care and yeah, all that yeah, shit. It's a significant rise <laughs> in my mobile bill. Yeah, How I, much more do you pay? How much more? <laughs> more? Yeah. I think, dude. Double? No, it's not going to double, but let's just put it like this. I think my gas bill is, on, in some months is cheaper <laughs> than my iPhone payment will be. <laughs> like my gas bill in summer yeah. is way cheaper than my fucking iPhone payment. <laughs> Thanks, Steve Jobs. Yeah, yeah, really, you motherfucker. No, but I mean, the shit is really fucking weird because like, you know, the, the way you tell people you have an iPhone 10, you do that little emoji thing, the talking yeah. emoji thing. Yeah. And oh that's what God. you send that to people and they go, oh, Oh, you got an iPhone 10. <laughs> I mean, never before has there been a feature that you could just do one thing and they were like, oh, you got dude, that shit. Dude, I can't, like, I've seen the commercials for the iPhone. I just can't justify it in my fucking mind. Like, uh, I'm an Android guy, you know, through and through anyway, but just seeing how fucking much that thing costs is ridiculous. Like, you could pay for a fucking apartment. Like paying that thing off, man. You could fucking pay for an apartment in a whole and, month. And here's my fucking justification right here. I did the four year stretch. Okay. Hey. Which is reasonable. It should last four years. Um, no, I just did the four year stretch. I did the four year stretch, you know, so it was less than buying two iPhones in the same time. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean that's the only way I could. Ju- it, it, it it makes sense because I want it to make sense in my mind. You know? <laughs> no, no, there is a hundred dollar fucking Android phone that I can yeah. order from fucking China. Yeah, there and, you go. And will, and will make calls and do ninety percent of that shit. But <laughs> I want this motherfucker. <laughs> and and the and the the fucking no button thing kind of weird. That is kind of weird. The, the face ID thing is just kind of weird. Like you you really when you're fucking with it. Yeah. Like you have to manage your phone because like that extra press of a button kind of helps shit out like yeah. you know so you don't open up your phone to, right like just you know like you've been she's been scrolling to the left you know what i'm saying <laughs> i mean so you know uh, it's just kind of and it's no, weird that, that, always, it, that it's, always worries me like what if, what if hypothetically my phone that i'm holding in front of me right now is an iphone x and i'm just sitting here and it's on the table right in front of me and it decides like oh you glance down at me i'm just gonna fucking unlock it will fucking unlock. Yeah. And the bitches, it'll do it in the dark. That's what I'm saying. Like, what if your girl's sitting next to you Man. and you were watching porn earlier or something? Yeah. Just bam. Open. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like big butts and I can no longer lie. <laughs> no, that's a, and they, they say like there's all sorts of like hidden features with the iPhone X that you could like apps and shit that you can get. And it's just ridiculous. I don't I don't want to have to like have an oopsie boo boo when I'm out with my friends because it does some like weird Alexa shit. Like I say something and it fucking starts turning on some weird music video. It, it, it is weird though when you line it up with your face, mm. it lights up. Yeah, like boom. Yeah, and mine, mine has uh, the retina scanner. So if I at any angle, if I glance at my screen and it can see me, it'll show me the clock. Like it'll lighten up. Yeah, and it's, it's, it, it fucks me up. I'm just like, <laughs> it, 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 you know, the main thing that fucked me up because I was coming from a 5S, which is a smaller phone. Yeah. And, you know, I've been told many times that I have a small phone. <laughs> and I said, it's about the motion in the ocean. <laughs> right. But I, I, I was told many times. Not like, compensating with this big jacked up phone. No, I do, I do not. You know what? My 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 Scion does not have a lift kit. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, I'm i sitting there with my phone and like my Bluetooth isn't connected. Right. And I get in, the, I get in the car, and I pick up the phone, and I haven't had a big phone, and it feels like I'm blocking out the whole fucking street <laughs> looking at my goddamn phone. <laughs> like I understand why you can't text and drive anymore. It is not safe. Yeah, it's definitely not safe. It, you know, you know what fucks me up though is when when they actually had phones with the numbers on it, like you know, you dial the dial pad. Yeah. Remember when you had to hit two like three times just to get the letter C? Yeah. That shit was so much worse. And but they guess what? They didn't ban texting and driving then. Yeah, no, but guess what? People could do that shit without looking. Oh, I know. I know people who could like hold it underneath the desk upside down and backwards do it with that with their fucking pinky. I knew fucking text champions. Yeah. They fucking like, ridiculous. Do, 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 do. I'm like 
Because <laughs> I've always, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm a fucking cheater. I've since texting came out, I've always had a phone with a full keyboard. Yeah. Sorry if you guys came to this party. Get all sidekicks. Did you I, ever have a sidekick? No, I, I had a Windows phone. I wouldn't stoop down and get a sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wouldn't lower myself to that I, level. I lower myself. I need. I, I, I had a touch screen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I had the. Um, Remember when, uh, oh God, what was it? It's now, um, not CenturyLink, but it was that, oh, Cricket. When Cricket Wireless yeah. first came out, they had that little phone where you flipped it up and it was just like a fucking full keyboard. Yeah. And then you closed it and it was the regular phone. I had that motherfucker and I was like, yeah. I was you know, like, this I mean, is the business. I mean, you're living big. Yeah. Yeah, because that, that whole, uh, that whole uh, what, what do they call it? When you text like that, I don't know. Whatever, when you, whenever you, when you had to use the fucking numbers to text, that shit was bullshit. <laughs> it and, really and, was. And somebody who never, who never had to use it, when I tried to use it, I'm like, this is fucking hard. Yeah, this is fucking ridiculous. This Nowadays, is, you can just like talk at your phone. Well, well when you, uh, and you know, the, the funny part about talking at your phone is the least technological motherfuckers I know are the ones who use that shit the most. Yeah. Like people I know that are tech heads, they fucking type. <laughs> you know what I'm saying But you got a guy That can You know I I, I got to, You know I have clients That I, I helped them out With their electronics And yeah The ones that can't do shit Are the first ones To, to text the type and Really It works It works perfect for them Well yeah Well I see I do that, that shit When I'm driving yeah. I mean you know Not me driving personally But if I'm in the car Because I would never Text and drive Or anything illegal Of that nature But you know When I'm in the vehicle I do that all the time. I'm just like, ah, I'm not going to fucking sit here and type. I'm just going to hit one button, talk at the phone, hit send. And you know what? You know what else I think that text, like speech to text needs to do? I think you need to be able to say, like your little uh, in-home device here. I don't want to say her name because she's going to fucking wake up. You should be able to just say send Is and it? It, it'll fucking send. I think it does. No, uh, it? no, mine. Mine doesn't. Oh. Yours might. I don't, I don't know. Alexa, how you doing? <laughs> I'm great. I've been thinking about what makes people happy. For me, it's the little things, like electrons, <laughs> or the five trillion pigeon pie. <laughs> At least she did not say top ten country music songs. Man. You've been hanging around Shaq too much. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking showstopper right you there. <laughs> <laughs> Little baby monkeys and, nobody, and electrons. Nobody said electrons, though. Yeah, yeah, really. No, I'll tell you what else, though. You know something that makes me happy? What? Dealing with Fort Fortress Property Management. I went and actually had to call them the other day because I'm looking for a place in Portland. And they are easy to talk to. You actually get a real person. You don't have to go through some stupid dialing system. And I, at first, I just checked them out online. Fortress Property Management. It's a Fortress Property MGMT.com. They're right here serving to see in all your Portland metro area needs. Hit them up if you need them for a condo, apartment, anything you need. What's that phone number, also? The phone number is 503 752 8519. Extension 2. I wonder who's that extension 1. <laughs> Who's the hey, runner I mean, up? We, we do the show on Sunday so we can't call them and fuck with them, but we, 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 we would. But also, if you have. A home, mm -hmm. like let's say you know you're sitting there and you decide to leave, and you're like, "Mom, you got to go too." Yeah, and you yeah. wanted to rent that motherfucker out, but you don't have to worry about taking care of it. Yeah, you can call Fortress Property Management. Nice, hell yeah! Get so they'll, they'll they'll do kind of a landlord ensemble for you. Yeah, they they manage property. That's fucking great. They dude. don't own shit; they just manage it. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. Do they have social media? They're on Facebook too. Yeah, you can check them out on Facebook. I don't have a direct Facebook link, but hey, you got a Google. Well, hey, you're back on Facebook now. So maybe maybe we can hit him up after the show. Man, maybe we hit him up. Yeah. Send him a message. How, how is that, by the way? I mean, you were gone for like a year. I really was off Facebook for a year. And you know, it's funny. It, it, the funniest thing about it is, um, I I put out this message. I've been off Facebook for a year. Yeah, ain't shit changed. <laughs> And why did I get a hundred likes on that? <laughs> <laughs> and then I get all these comments. And then since I said I'm back, I have to reply to comments because I never replied to comments. Right. One comment was like, some bitch went and looked at checks. She's like, you really haven't been out here in a fucking year. Because I explained that everything I posted was like linked off of something else, which yeah. it has been. Right. And then she was like, you really haven't been on here on a fucking year. <laughs> Stalker alert. And then somebody was like, why'd you come back? I said, I got tired of people telling me I saw this on Facebook. <laughs> you know, and it's, it's cool being back. I think 
it, you know, I, I'll tell you one thing. It's funny how much the user interface actually changes. It, yeah, it does. It, it, it really, like, things kind of moved around a little bit. You know, it, it was not like it's a major change because yeah. old people would fucking flip out. But there was a couple of, you know, because, <laughs> you know, I, I, I got a couple pages that I managed and stuff like that. Right. Getting around was like, oh, shit. There's this, there's this, and then like there was all these messages because I blocked people mess- putting messages on my fucking page. <laughs> Isn't and, that the best? You're like, I fucking own you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because dude, my 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 page is primary space. Yeah. you know, you're getting two likes on your page, you're getting more on mine. I, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna limit. I'm gonna filter what comes on there, and I got a backlog of shit. Hey, if you're a rapper and you want to post some shit on my page, no, right now. No. <laughs> this is right now. Ever since the DHT incident, they don't yeah. fucking tag yeah, us. Man, we don't tag you with shit. Man, if there is a party that's going on on the night I'm playing, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. You fucking just, no. You, you just want to say hello. And see, the thing is, I don't want. You're my friend. Yeah. Don't make a big deal about saying hello to me in front of all my other friends. Yeah. Cause like when you post something directly to my page and go, Hey James, how you doing? That basically is like us being at a party. I turn down the music and you go, Hey James, how you doing? <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while. How you been? That's what it feels like. I'm fucking working. That's why, you know, I mean, you know, there, there are, there are direct ways to speak with a person. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I will, I'll expect you to just walk over and say, Hey, Hey James, how you doing? Yeah. Give I me mean, a little fist saying, bump. I'm let just, you get back I'm to just it. Saying, I feel like you're pissing on my fucking leg right here. Yeah. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? I need all your friends to know that we are friends. And and, and, and none of my friends give a fucking fuck. That's what you should have done. At that little fucking event, when you ran into that dude from that fucking uh, radio station, you should have just fucking peed on his leg and been like, you're mine now. So I if fucking you, own this if shit. You're, if you're a person that follows the chronicles of the hype podcast, <laughs> the chronicles of the hype. <laughs> at one point last year, we were going to bring our um, show to the airwaves, and we had uh, we had set up a deal with a with a radio station here, a local radio station, um, a community radio station. Now I now I want to I want to preface this with you struck the deal with this guy who said he was an avid listener. A big fan. I copied all. Copied all. I copied all the emails to you. Yeah, I, sent, I forwarded them and, over. Yeah, and so not only being on a community radio station, but being on the airwaves. Yeah. A few episodes, our attitude and candor changed. We cleaned up the language. We we told the stories in a fun, family fen- friendly ensemble. Stop fucking lying. One episode. The episode they were going to air. That's where yeah, we Yeah, but we did one before to practice. Yeah, we did. We did and then right. we dialed it back to get it in the time frame. Yeah. So there was a couple shows, a couple meeting two, where we didn't curse. We still had edgy, and upbeat that. entertainment jokes. And fuck that. And then a half an hour before we were supposed to go on, they fucking pulled the show. It, it, it amazed me. And you know, and I see this guy and I'm just like, yo, I just really, oh, you're from, you're the operations manager? Oh. Well, hey, let me tell you something. <laughs> well, hey. <laughs> and, you know, and I'm sitting there. We're at this MLK event. And, you know, I'm a black guy. Yeah. He's a white guy. You've, you've already got the edge. You're at dude, an MLK dude, event. Dude, dude. You're black. He's white. Boom. Don't try it, Anakin. I have I have the high ground. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Let me ask you why my black ass isn't on your radio station. Yeah. Even, though, even though the organizers, his brother has a show on the station. Wow. But, but I was just like, yeah. He, he was like, and he was, un, he seemed unfamiliar with it. And then as I refreshed his memory a little more, yeah. he, seemed, he seemed a little, he's like, I think I heard something about that. Okay, he's like, I'm going to check on that for you. Cool, I can appreciate is, that. Is he like, is he like the dude that that puts you on hold and says, "Well, let me go ask my manager," and then he doesn't really do anything. He's just going to kind of put you on hold and then let it marinate and come back and be like, "I, I, I felt in this in the little bit of time we had together, we yeah. developed a bit of a rapport." Ah, okay. I, I felt like he he seemed very genuine in the fact that he's like. That's kind of odd. Let me check on that for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You seem like, you know, it was one of those things where you seem like an all right dude. Like, <laughs> that doesn't no, make any sense. No, you know sense. what he's going to do? He's going to go back. He's going to ask Guy where this episode is. He's going to listen to it. And he's going to be like, oh, man, they're talking about couch and cooch and homeless people. This ain't going to work. Yeah. It's going to be ridiculous. Because if, if you go back and listen to that show, did we ever post that show? Yeah, I think we, did we did post that show. Yeah. If you go back and listen to that show, we had a very, very edgy conversation about 
a historical Portland street. Believe me, we we danced around the FCC rules in yeah. as many ways we, as possible. Yeah, with with tap dancing shoes and ballet booties. Like it was it was brilliant and beautiful because everybody has always had this debate in Portland. What do tourists say? Oh, well, yeah, it's down off Couch Street. Yeah, it's not pronounced Couch. It's pronounced Couch. It's pronounced Couch. It's been that way since the dawn of time. God knows why. And we like to talk about it. It is the longest running Portland joke ever. It is, and people always say that exact same thing. Well, why is it called that? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it used to be the red light district. Yeah. That's so, like, that's like asking why donuts are delicious. I, I mean, know. you know, people come here for voodoo donuts all the time. We don't ask questions. It They just do. I, I don't. Yeah. Because I don't understand why people are into voodoo donuts. Because they have donuts shaped like different things. And they, they have very odd qualities. They put cereal on their donuts. And that's. And so if you It's appealing to white people. If you flew in from a foreign city. Yeah. No, it's not just white people. Black out of towners. I've seen some really? inter- entertainers. Yeah. <laughs> they they <laughs> oh, have that's to, true, yeah. They have to have their fucking voodoo donuts. Oh yeah, we're yeah. here. It's a big thing. I, I guess people don't do that. I, mean, I think the I think the first time I met Fifth Harmony, they were like, Yeah, we gotta go to Voodoo Donuts. I'm just wow. like, I'm like Really? Is it that big? Damn. I'm kinda getting hungry now. I'm like, well what? Why didn't they go? We have to go meet the hype podcast. Oh, we might, <laughs> <laughs> we, we, have, we might not have been around then, but you know, no, it's it's really crazy to me that whole ensemble. You know, we do this exclusive show just for this fucking guy. Exclusive, yeah, Diesel, Diesel Fresh. Fresh. <laughs> yeah. Wait, speaking of, if we ever do go live over the airwaves, are you uh you changing the name to Diesel Fresh? No, I think it'll still be an AKA. Yeah? Okay. I don't know. I, th- I, think I mean, the- it, it'd be oh so fresh, AKA Diesel Fresh. <laughs> AKA- like, like that Casey Kasem voice? <laughs> AKA a- 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 J Money. AKA oh, <laughs> Microphone Rocker. AKA. <laughs> AKA Go Make a Song Now. Oh. Oh, no. No. <laughs> None of no, that. No, no, no. my studio has a shack disease. I can't, <laughs> <laughs> can't make. My roommate's a, my roommate put a disease on there where you can't make songs in there. <laughs> on that note, oh, so you already know, so it's about that time to go. This is the Hype Podcast. I am the host with no name. I am DJ Oso Fresh. AKA Diesel Fresh. We are kicking it with you every single Sunday right here on the Hype. Once again, shout out to Fortress Property Management, taking care of all your home management needs or property management needs. Excuse me. They don't manage your Hold home up. for you. It's time to go. That means we're leaving. Yeah, that means we're about to be out. You can hit them up, 503-752-8619, extension number two. And tell us who's extension number one. I need to know extension number one is. Because if it's extension number one, maybe well, did, maybe well, it dials us because well, we're number one. It's time to go. Uh. We'll have to do some <laughs> investigative reporting. <laughs> hey, we're number one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we do. <laughs> I'm eating up. this last egg roll. You shut up. Yeah. Yeah, you talk better with something in your mouth. Egg roll shaped things in my mouth. Oh, yeah. It's time to go. Yeah, this is the Hype Podcast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hew! Yeah. Fuck it. We'll do it live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. It's the Hype Podcast. Yeah. <laughs>